morning, Jess, and welcome to another Gen AI workflow tutorial. Today, you'll learn how to generate stock images for your marketing and advertising campaigns. We know that for marketers, sourcing stock imagery can be problematic, time consuming, and at times, the quality and suitability of the images for your brand isn't quite up to mark. With Leonardo, you can generate fresh images that suit your market and brand both efficiently and at scale. Today, we'll go through four steps to help you generate stunning stock images. Crafting prompt for your images, creating the images, creating seasonal variations, and upscaling images for high resolution output. And by the end of this session, you should be able to create great stock imagery. Like these examples we've mocked up for the travel industry, including image variations depending on the season. This is what you'll see after you log into Leonardo, the home screen of the app. For this workflow, we'll be using image creation and universal upscaler tools. Image creation is home base, our main tool for generating new images. And the universal upscaler is where you can improve their quality and resolution while sharpening the detail in your images. Let's jump over to image creation. I'm going to begin by crafting a prompt for our image. For this example, I'm using a candid view of a solo hiker from behind, overlooking a nice valley on top of the cliff. I want to add additional details, so I'm going to click the sparkle icon to improve my prompt. This feature is designed to help you prompt like a pro without having to know the additional wording details to create the perfect image. Great, it's added in some additional terms around light and style, which us as humans may not necessarily think about adding in. Now it's time to generate. Today, we'll be using the cinematic Kino preset. Presets in Leonardo AI are bundled settings trained to a specific style. The cinematic Kino preset is ideal for those excellent photorealistic images. And you can also use stock photography for something a little bit more generic, but I wanted something more cinematic for this. Now we hit generate. And as you can see, these images of these hikers are looking great. We can also adjust the preset styles to explore different types of aesthetics. For example, you could do cinematic or you could do fashion. Now, you might want to make variations of your image. For instance, let's make a version of this image of the hiker, but in a winterscape. To do that, navigate to the image icon here, and from there, select content reference. Content reference takes a look at the context of your uploaded image, such as the valley, the cliff, and the hiker, and keeps that composition for your output. Let's upload that image of the hiker to a content reference, just here in your generations. With content reference, you can select a weighting of low, medium, or high. Low means that your final image looks a little bit less like the reference image, whereas high will mean that it looks a lot I like to use mid to give the AI a bit of freedom, but not diverge too much from the image. Now let's use Edit with AI to change the image prompt. Edit with AI helps you edit your prompt with ease. Just ask it in natural language to change your prompt. Here, I'm gonna say, make this a winterscape. Done. And now it's updated the prompt to reflect some references to snow, and a winter jacket. Now it's time to generate. Awesome! Now I've got winter variations on our image, as you can see, and a bunch of high quality stock images now ready to be upscaled. Finally, let's navigate to the universal upscaler icon. The upscaler is perfect for upscaling prints or making high quality digital assets, whether that's an existing image or something you generated in Leonardo. Click add an image, navigate to your generations and we'll select the image of the hybrid. Let's use ultra mode, our newest upscale release. And for the upscale style, let's stick with realistic. The upscale multiplier refers to the size your image will expand into. For this one, we are doubling the image dimensions. And creativity strength is how much we want the AI to add additional detail into the image. 
higher the value, the more texture and detail will be generated into the original. For this one, we'll use 7. For details and similarity, let's leave it as is. Awesome! Now you can see that these are looking a lot more refined while still being realistic. You can zoom in here and see all the tiny little details added in, ready for production use. That's it! You've now learned how to generate high quality stock imagery, customize it for your needs, and upscale it to high resolution. Perfect for your next campaign. Thanks for watching and following along.